we found our first vintage store. It's hidden. It's below on the ground, so we'll check it out. It's a cool one. <laughs> Ski suits from 80s, cool jacket, something that Michael Jackson would wear. Everything is very colorful, all these costumes, all these shoes. Painting. Lots of military uniform here. From Germany, from the United States. Lot, all these boots. I mean, all types of uniforms, Navy, Army, Marines. Super cool. Okay, we just came to our first destination. It's a vintage market that has a lot of clothes. So this is called Buy Retro yeah. Vintage Market. We have the associate here. Her name is Lily and she's been working here how many years? I work here around 10 years. 10 years, yeah, okay. So, so long time. When did this store open? This store opened like uh, 90s, 90, 1995 years. Like mid-90s? Yeah. Okay. The owner is one owner, right? Or yeah. it's a family? Uh, one family, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a very fa fashion and uh, very famous family uh -huh. here because uh, the father, uh, the owner fathers is a very, very celebrity uh, singer. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Yeah, his name is ne uh, Neshet Ertaş. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but owner here is the only one. Mm -hmm. I have only one owner. Uh, he's a Hakan Duke mm -hmm. Wardar. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when, uh, do you know the story how he started to collect the stuff? Did he uh, have this at his yeah, home? Yeah, this stuff and then he collected. Moved it? Uh, no, no, no. He's a bring uh, here from uh, Europe, uh, mm -hmm. from usually from America mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Germany mm -hmm. and uh, France, mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this stuff uh, he's uh, collected uh, around thirty-five years. Okay. So and um, this stuff also for a rent for theater for mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so party. Mm -hmm. Uh, so many party make mm -hmm. here. Yeah. All, all people make mm -hmm. here so many party. For example, seventies party, eighties mm -hmm. party, mm -hmm. costume party. So, but yeah. most most of the stuff is like uh, it's pretty uh, original, old. Uh, original, original, uh, yeah, original vintage. Uh, mm -hmm. Here is uh, some things from seventies, something from eighties, some things for for from sixties. For example, this thing, it's uh, original Mexican thing. Uh -huh. And also uh, bring here um, my friend from Mexico, uh -huh. from Mexico City. Mm -hmm. And also he's a, have a very, very big stuff in Mexico mm -hmm. City. He's a bring present. He's a give me for present. It's a very, very interesting and also very original and uh, very old things. But how does the, all this stuff get here? Does uh, your owner go and he starts uh, Yeah, I have a friend shopping. here. No, I have a friend here. He's also mm -hmm. work here. Mm -hmm. He's a go in uh, Germany, mm -hmm. in the Italy. He's a walk day and mm -hmm. also complected and also uh, buy there mm -hmm. and bring here. What is the your favorite piece here? Uh, leather things. Like leather things, right? Yeah. But one specific one. You have something like... Your favorite, favorite? My favorite things, those are. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. 
so much. Those are original mm -hmm. sweat. Sweat. And uh -huh. uh, it's like cowboy things. Mm -hmm. And what is the oldest uh, piece here? This one. This is the oldest yeah. piece from all the stores? It's from Turkey. 1930s? Yeah. I love that one so much. It's from New York or this is Turkish? Which no, no, style no. is this? Uh, it's from Germany. That's it's German, German style. style. Okay, yes. German style. I bought this uh, vintage jacket from here, this hat. It's from the German military. 1960. I have, a, I have here so much stuff here. You can look there. I have here the Germany Palace and also Germany military. Yeah, it was, uh, and I, uh, I have here the costume Ataturk. Costume Ataturk? Yeah. Which one is that? This one. Oh. It's also very, very old. Ataturk would uh, have some something like this, huh? Yeah. During like military parades or what is Military. Uh-huh. I'm nice. only rented this one. Mm -hmm. I'm rented for 600. For one week? For one week, yeah. So guys, if you want to visit the store, it's called By Retro. It's in a city or the neighborhood called Taksim in Istiklal Street. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, in the city passenger. Suri <laughs> passenger. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm not sure if they'll understand it, but <laughs> well, thank you for your time. This was an interesting thank you place. Too. Thank you for the jacket, the hat. Yeah, <laughs> don't mention it. So we just came out from the first vintage market. It was quite a nice place. A lot of vintage clothes. Yeah, it looks like retro, retro clothing that is for rent for films music videos and there's an associate who is really nice person we've been there like four times to to complete this interview and we always run into some problems but this time it was on point check it out so this is a district full of bunch of antique stuff more decorations than vintage and Beautiful story. We have uh, small, s smaller stuff than uh, compared to other stores. The other stores they have like larger decoration stuff. I think here it's more, more for what, like artistic cameras, cameras. Harmonia? What is this called? Harmonica? Yes. Look at this stuff. I like this store. This is a postman's bag. Really old. The leather is super hard. Unfortunately, the owner doesn't speak English, so no interview here. A street full of antiques, but for the for the home antiques, for the home decor. We just found another antique store, and we have a gentleman here. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Okay, Sean. First, I want to ask you about the name. Why is it Moss? Moss. My name is combination. Combination. Uh huh. But most other. Uh, lines in Russia brain. Uh -huh. So this was your influence to, to name it after? Yes, my name. With the name and this. Yeah. Wow, okay. What is, how did you start this business? Um, interior designer. Interior designer. Yeah. Did you collect this stuff at your home and then you moved it to a store? Uh, three types I have stuff. Uh -huh. One is my work like sofa, uh -huh. like table. So this is from your home basically? Uh, yes, I have a studio, we uh -huh. made it. 
And then when you continue to collect stuff, how did you collect? Did you travel around the I world? Yes, I, uh, I traveled uh -huh. to other countries. Uh -huh. And you would bring it to your store? Yes. And everything here is for sale? Everything is sale. It's for sale? Yes. So what is the most valuable thing that was like difficult for you to find? Uh, okay. Uh, Can you show us? Oh. This work, some people say uh, Greek. Uh -huh. Very old. Uh -huh. But we're waiting for ex ex uh, authentication. Ex yes. Uh -huh. We're waiting. Wow, yeah, this is if, beautiful. Is this true? Is it old? Maybe a thousand. A maybe thousand, thousand years old. Yeah, maybe. And if they authenticate, are you required to take this to a museum or are you not required? Uh, yes, if old, I want to bring to the uh, okay. museum because okay. museum is important for my country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This walnut piece, figure one. Ah, uh -huh. this yeah. one. This, this one is probably 250 or 300 years old. Uh huh. And wh uh, where is it from? From Brexit, my village. Oh, from your village? Yeah. Not so, easy, uh -huh. again, find it. Maybe impossible. And this is like you would bring, you would go to somebody's house and you would find this? Yes. Uh, if you people want to do some bar, uh -huh. dining table, I will fix it. Okay. Well, we're going to film a little bit, just some stuff. Yes, That's of it. course. Thank you very much, Sean. Okay. Appreciate it. So, two, three hundred euro wooden piece here. Check this upstairs. So we just came out from the antique store, talked to the owner, very interesting guy. He's about an uh, interior designer who's collecting all the stuff that he sells. It. I mean, he had, he's a quite a character, I gotta tell you that. And his store tells it all. So if you're in Istanbul, it's called Mosque. This is the name of the district. Can't buy it with the money. The lamp is burnt, and, uh, but it's still you know the thing here. But the lamp was always here. Yeah, and it burned down. Yeah. Right? yeah. And these doors you said come from where? Uh, next apartment. Uh, next apartment. Our building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, it was the user. Which years was this from? I don't know, but man. Like in 1950s, 1960s or something. And I think this is supposed to be my grandmother's house. Okay. Yeah. Which region is it from? Which region, year? Which region your mother, uh, grandmother lives in? Um, she was born in the 1938, but uh, she bought it maybe uh, 50s, uh -huh. 60s or something. Like which region? Like Izmir or... Ah, Istanbul, Istanbul. Ah, this is Istanbul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's made in Istanbul. So we were walking down the street and then uh, this guy just saw that we were filming and he asked us, what are you guys filming about? We said vintage markets. He said, come inside. And we just, uh, yeah, he showed us a few cool, few cool objects that he got from his grandmother, from down the street, the door. And then, yeah, looks like a dope spot. So what is this name, place? Rast Jehangir. Okay, say, say come, come to this. Guys, uh, guys, just join us in the Rast Jehangir and feel free to be in cozy and happy, okay? And what's the location? The location? Uh, Jehangir, we are in the cent center of the Jehangir. All right, thank you. I uh, welcome. appreciate it. I appreciate next it time. Too, guys. We came to Beskitas, last Beskitas neighborhood in search of uh, a vintage market. I'm not sure if it's here. But really difficult to find this place. Oh, 
Well, this is Besiktas. This is Besiktas neighborhood. We tried to find our last stop. Looked for a vintage market located in the produce section where they sell uh, local goods, local produce. And on top of it, there's a vintage store that the article suggested us to come to, but the article was written in 2017. So now, obviously we couldn't find it. And I don't think it exists according to some locals. Hopefully this was interesting enough for you guys. Until the next episode, subscribe, like, leave your comments. Let me know if we should talk more to the vintage uh, store owners.